Hello, this is Catherine Smith, General Director of Madison Opera. I hope you and your families are staying well in these unprecedented times. A little while ago, we sent you a teaser video announcing our 2021 season, and today I thought I'd tell you a bit more about it. We start in November with perhaps the most operatic of operas, Verdi's Il Trovatore. Trying to summarize its over-the-top plot is challenging, to put it mildly. Set in 15th century Spain, it revolves around four characters, Leonora and Manrico, who are in love with each other, Count Luna, who is also in love with Leonora, and Manrico's mother, Azucena. Azucena is haunted by the memory of her mother being burned at the stake by Count Luna's father years earlier. Oh, and she also kidnapped Luna's baby brother, threw him into that fire, and then discovered she'd thrown her own baby instead. So there's that. This rapidly moving opera includes a duel, an attempted kidnapping from a convent, some offstage battles, a suicide, an execution, and the realization that two of the characters were related and didn't know it until one of them was dead. That's a lot of plot to pack into a few hours, and the music that tells the story is genuinely thrilling. Each character has at least one stunning aria, the chorus sings the famous anvil chorus, and the music evokes the sort of visceral emotions that remind us why Verdi has stayed so popular throughout the centuries. So if Il Trovatore is definitely not about dramatic realism, it is about amazing singing, and I'm so happy with the cast we have put together. Singing Leonora is Karen Slack, who sang Sister Rose in Dead Man Walking Here, and has sung leading roles at the Metropolitan Opera, among other engagements. As Manrico, we have the debut of Mackenzie Gocher, a recent graduate of the Academy of Vocal Arts. He has sung for Wolf Trap Opera, Santa Fe Opera, and Opera San Jose. Azucena will be sung by Daryl Friedman in her debut with us. She has sung with the Metropolitan Opera, Washington National Opera, and Santa Fe Opera. Weston Hurt returns as County Luna after his acclaimed performance as Germont in La Traviata here last season. Kenneth Kellogg debuts as Ferrando. He has sung with Pittsburgh Opera, Washington National Opera, and the Glimmerglass Festival. The production is directed by Fenlon Lamb, returning after last season's La Traviata. John Domain conducts with the Madison Opera Chorus and Madison Symphony Orchestra. In late January, we travel to 1930s Hungary and She Loves Me by Jerry Bach and Sheldon Harnick. The show is based on a 1937 play, which was also the basis for three Hollywood movies, The Shop Around the Corner, in the good old summertime, and you've got mail. The story takes place in and around a Budapest perfume shop. A new clerk named Amalia has an antagonistic relationship with the head clerk, George. Unbeknownst to either of them, they are also secret pen pals, sharing their thoughts on music and literature, and slowly falling in love via letter. They are not the only protagonists of this piece. It's the sort of perfect musical that gives every character their own song and intersecting plotline. Two clerks, Alona and Kodai, are having an affair. The shop owner, Mr. Marichek, is having marital troubles. Clerk Zipos wants to keep everyone happy, and the delivery boy wants to be promoted. As spring gives way to summer, then fall, then winter, relationships develop and change, with almost everyone getting a happily ever after by Christmas Eve. She Loves Me premiered on Broadway in 1963 and has been acclaimed in the decade since for its charm, wit, and beautiful score. I think of it as the perfect midwinter treat, following in the footsteps of our recent production of A Little Night Music. Susanna Biller makes her Madison Opera debut as Amalia. She has sung leading roles for Minnesota Opera, Dallas Opera, and San Francisco Opera. Playing opposite her as George is Ben Edquist, returning to us after great success as Hawk Fuller in Fellow Travelers this season. Andrew Bidlack sings Kodai, returning to us after singing Tamino in The Magic Flute. Andrew Wilkowski sings Sipos, returning to us after multiple roles in Fellow Travelers. Jeff Matsey sings Mr. Marichek. He sang The Count in The Marriage of Figaro here in 2010. Our production is directed by Doug Schultz Carlson, who directed A Little Night Music here two seasons ago. Our design team also returns from that show, and John Demain conducts. In April, we go back to the 18th century and Mozart's The Marriage of Figaro. This is my favorite opera, as I think Mozart told us more about who we are as human beings than any composer has before or since. Figaro is based on a play by Pierre Beaumarchais, which was so incendiary when it premiered that it was banned from performance in Vienna, lest it incite a revolution by the working class. The protagonists are Susanna and Figaro, two servants to Count and Countess Almaviva, who are in love with each other and ready to get married. 
but the Count wants to sleep with Susanna, so he tries to postpone the wedding. Meanwhile, his attempted infidelity leaves the Countess distraught. Filling out the household are Carabino, a page boy who is in love with, well, everyone, Marcellina and Dr. Bartolo, an older couple with her own agenda, and assorted others. Over the course of a single day, plots are hatched, secret notes are passed, multiple weddings take place, and everyone is perhaps a touch wiser than they were when the day began. Mozart revolutionized opera with Figaro, writing trios, quartets, and ensembles unlike any that had come before. While the opera is a comedy and has a happy ending, it has moments of melancholy, moments of anger, and a depth of humanity that resonates over 200 years after it was written. I always say that Mozart is a team sport, and we have a wonderful team. As Susanna, Jasmine Habersham makes her Madison Opera debut after performances with Minnesota Opera, Utah Opera, and the Glimmerglass Festival. Elizabeth Caballero returns as Countess Almaviva. Her most recent role here was the title role in Florencia and El Amazonas. Figaro is sung by Matt Bowler. His most recent performance with us was Osmine in The Abduction from the Seraglio. Michael Adams makes his Madison Opera debut as Count Almaviva, following recent performances at Seattle Opera, Washington National Opera, and the Glimmerglass Festival. Singing Carabino is Kirsten Larson, who has just concluded two years as a Madison Opera studio artist. Margaret Garishiak debuts as Marcellina. She has sung often with Seattle Opera, Lyric Opera of Kansas City, and Opera Colorado. Directing this traditional production is Omar Ben Seadia in her Madison Opera debut. She has directed for Opera Colorado, Cincinnati Opera, and Atlanta Opera. John Demain conducts with the Madison Opera Chorus and Madison Symphony Orchestra. So that is our 2021 season. We look forward to sharing it with you and being together to make music once again. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us over email. Thank you for watching and please stay safe.